All right, in this video, we're going to talk about SQL Server's default trace functionality. And you can see what Microsoft says about it. The default trace functionality provides a rich, uh, persistent log of activity and changes primarily related to configuration options. Uh, they've got some great tech writers, don't they? Um, it's not the black box. All right, if you're familiar with the black box, this isn't it. Uh, it's actually a lighter trace, uh, and it, uh, it's uh, a smaller in terms of uh, what's kept. Uh, basically it's a white light, it's a light, sorry, light white trace that runs um, and it, it's cleaned out and started again every time the the box is started. Alright, so it's to give here, this is all Microsoft-ish, it's to give database administrators the necessary log data to diagnose the problem the first time it occurs. All right, which is really great, we didn't have it in previous versions. Uh, and uh, so, you know, if the uh, a box blows up and you can go and get the information uh, using a function we'll talk about here in a second um, take the information and go and load a default trace to see what just happened it's really it's really just a fantastic idea I don't know whose idea it was uh, because for whatever reason this functionality really isn't that uh, you know discussed a lot uh, but it, it's just fantastic I mean uh, it, it's yeah it's great uh, so here we go so uh, because the trace is enabled by default uh, let's see I was able to get the trace function yep yes I was so let's go whoop, whoop, to look at the function we're talking about and it's pretty straightforward huh uh, get trace info the default tells us we want to get about the default alright so the options here um, are look, we've got a little diagram here. Uh, so the trace file uh, is called .logtrc and resides in the, the installations log directory. Here we go. Let's take a look at that I guess. So here I have it pulled up in the installations log directory. Here I have it for this particular instance and I guess it keeps one, two, three, four, five before it rolls and you can see uh, when I've restarted the server. I wonder if we started this server. It's a laptop, but you get the idea. When uh, this laptop is restarted, or when I've shut down uh, the SQL Server server service and brought it back up again. All right, so uh, so it's enabled uh, by default. And uh, again, in here I've talked a little bit about the black box. The black box is a heavier trace. This video isn't about the black box, but yes, there is a black box. Black box. Sorry, it's the end of the night apparently and I'm tired. Uh, there is a black box trace uh, and it's also running. Uh, this video is not going to talk about it, uh, but it does exist. Alright, so here uh, you can, you, you see we're, we're talking a little bit about the uh, the uh, the function that we've run over here. Alright, get info. And here we've got five rows. Alright, so the first one alright, uh, options set for the trace. The two means is enabled for rollover. Okay. Here, this one, this one should be obvious, right? The location of the trace, right? Uh, how about this one? 20. Uh, the size in megabytes and the max size. Alright, so it's going to get to 20 and that's where it's going to go. Uh, 20 really, um, th that's not enough. Uh, you want a little more data than that. Um, you know, space usually, I, I don't know why most organizations, you know, they, they you know, that they want to be chintzy on space. Space is cheap, folks. Buy some space, all right, and knock this thing up to 50. All right, that should give you plenty of information uh, to capture when a server blows up or just when you need to look at something that's run. All right, so uh, the null, that's the stop time. Null means no stop time. All right, that's our fourth option. And our fifth is the trace running. One means she's running. All right, so you can see uh, the five property values and what those values are. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, so what do we have? Uh, the, okay, like I said, every time it started, a a a, uh, a new trace is started and a new file, as we saw looking at the the directory here. So let's go back over to whoop, our trace. All right, now that we've seen where it is, right? We know where it is. We can come over here and get some information about it. Uh, so log to let's load most recent 
Okay, cool. And let's take a look at the table. What? There's no text data. Uh, how about we do select off from default? Where are text? Text data is not null. And here we go. Again, this is a laptop, all right? So not a whole lot going on, but you get the idea, right? Uh, lightweight trace, always on, great to have. And uh, if someone comes up to you and says, hey, I need you to know what just happened, uh, you know, there you go. Load the default trace and tell them. Or load the default trace and lie to them. Because they really, they have no idea that there's a default trace. And for a long time, we've been telling people uh, they really didn't exist. And there is no easy way to capture information about a server when it goes down. Seems like a, a lie we perpetuate um, in case we mess up. And listen, I'm on board with it. All right. <laughs> Later, folks.